What's going on guys, John Nilder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to open files with a file dialog with Kinter and Python. All right, in the last video, we talked about opening other windows in your program. In this video, I want to show you how to use the file dialog box to open files, no matter what the file is anywhere on your computer. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off memberships, so that's all my courses, videos, and books, for a one-time fee of just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so you've got your program, you want to open a file, maybe an image, maybe a PDF file, anything at all. How do you do that with Kinter? Well, it's really, really easy. You just use something called the file dialog. And we need to import this. It comes with Kinter, but we need to import it. So from tkinter, import file dialog. Okay. And to use this, we just call root.filename. Now, I should say this won't actually open a file. It'll just return the name of the file and the location of the file. So let's say, you know, we've got these images in our GUI slash images directory. So it'll return C colon GUI col or slash images slash aspen1.png. Then when you have that location, then you can then open that file in your program programmatically. So we'll look at how to do that. But first things first, let's just look at this dialog box. So we go file dialog and then dot ask open file name, right? And then inside of here, we got to pass a whole bunch of different things. First, we need to tell it what directory to start in. So when the box pops up, what directory do you want to be showing? So you go initial dir and set that equal to whatever you want. So if you just want the C directory, just do that. If we, we uh, for us, we want GUI forward slash images, we do that, right? So then we want title. Now, this is just the title of the box that pops up. It'll have a little caption title at the top and you can put anything you want. So let's go select a file. Sounds good. And now we need to tell it which types of files to show. So, you know, you could just put all the files or you could specifically say, just show the PNG files because we want to open a PNG file. You may have PNG files. You might have JPEG images. You might have GIF images, GIF images, however you pronounce that. You might have bitmap images, whatever. You can designate that here. So to do that, we just, we call the, let's see, file types, plural. Probably spell it right. File types, there we go. And then set that equal to whatever you want. And inside of here, we can designate a bunch of different file types if we want um, by putting them in parentheses and then separating them by parent or by a comma, right? So let's see, is that the right number of parentheses? I think so. So uh, let's just start out with we want, I don't know, PNG files. Um, yeah, PNG files. And this first bit is just a little description and that'll pop up in a drop down box. And we'll see that in just a second. So then we need to tell it what type of file and PNGs are start it with star dot png and the star is basically saying open any files that have a name of any kind star dot png right so that's it for png if we want to then designate say for instance all the files um, we can go let's see again just type in a little description all files and then a comma and then the type of file this is, this is just wildcard. We want all the files of all the different types. So we would go any name dot any extension, right? Star dot star. And then that closes. And then, okay, I think that's right. I get a little messed up with all the different parentheses, but I think we closed them all. So let's just save this real quick and run it. Uh, I should mention I named this file file.py. And I just started out with the basic starter code that we always start out with. You're familiar with that already. So let's head back over here and run this guy. Oops, what did I do? Uh, da -da, file dialog. I misspelled something. Of course I did. File dialog. There we go. That looks better. Save it. Run it. Pull it over. 
And when I did, it just automatically popped up this box. And you'll notice we're in C forward slash GUI forward slash images, because that's what we designated. And then we have all of these PNG files. These are the, the images that we did when we made that image viewer several videos ago. So I'm just going to reuse these. And now you look, see it says PNG files or all files. That comes from this little thing right here, PNG files and all files. And we can type anything at all we want, right? Let's see if we come back here. Your code. Come back. Actually, there we go. If we click here for all files, it doesn't really change because the only thing we have here are PNG files, right? So let's close this real quick and let's change this to oops, JPEG. And then let's change the description to JPEG files. Okay, so let's save this and run it again. And boom, it pops up and now there's nothing listed because it's calling the default is the first one you list and it's calling for the JPEG files. And there are no JPEG files in this directory. So if we click all files, boom, now they all pop up, right? So if we click this, it closes and nothing happens. So let's take a look real quick and see what, what happens when you click a thing, what it returns. So we could just return this root file name thing in a label. So let's just go, I don't know, my label equals set it as a label we want it in root and we want the text to equal just that and let's just pack this on the screen real quick save this guy or run it again and okay jpeg files we want all files uh, let's call aspen2 when we do that here's our main program it just returns the location aspen2 right so if you actually want to do something with that, if you want to, for instance, open that, then you need to do that separately. But that's okay because we know the location and now we can just open that location. We learned how to open images several videos ago when we looked at that image viewer app that we built. So uh, we use, let's pull up our code here, we use this image thing here. So let's go, what do we want? my underscore image equals image tk dot photo image. Did I spell that right? Image tk dot photo image. There we go. Turn blue there. And we want image dot open. And we want, what do we want to open? We want to open this thing, whatever it is, root file name, right? So now we go my uh, image label, set that equal to a label. And we don't have to put it in root, we could just go image equals um, my image, which is this thing. And we want to pack this on the screen real quick. So let's save that, run it, see if this works. And we get JPEG, all files, let's open Aspen 2. Oh, image TK is not defined. I thought that looked weird. Oh, <laughs> lowercase k. All right, so let's save this. Run it one more time. Pull this over. All right, so we want all files. We want Aspen. And when we do, our main screen pulls up this thing. It's also listed that because we have that on there. And it's it works. So very cool. Now, one thing that you'll notice is whenever I run this thing, it just pops up the file dialog box right away. And that's probably not really practical. So let's play around with that a little bit. Let's create a button. Let's go my button and set it equal to a button. And we want this in root and we want the text to equal open file. And we want the command to equal open. Now we need a 
we need to define an open method here, function. And inside of here, I'm just gonna put all this stuff, right? And tab all this over. Okay, so we'll remember when we open an image in a uh, function like this, we need to create a global for its uh, variable. So my underscore image, that should work. And our button, we need to dot pack this guy. Okay, so let's save this and run it. I almost certainly screwed that up somehow. Let's see how I did it. <laughs> yeah, nope. This dear object has no object. Mm hmm, what do we do? Uh, let's see, my button. Oh, we left it all out. All right, get rid of that, save it. See, I told you I screwed that up. All right, this is getting crazy. Let's clear this screen, run it one more time. All right, that looks good. So we pull this over, we got the button that says open file, we do that, and the little box pops up. We call all files here, let's open Aspen, and boom, it opens. It also puts this on the screen here. We don't necessarily have to have that, uh, but that's pretty cool. So very easy, very simple to open any kind of file, and. In this video, we did images because we've already worked with images before, so we're already familiar. But you know, you can do a PDF file, you can do uh, an HTML file, you can do a Python file if you wanted to open it and put its contents on the screen. Whatever you wanna do, you can do with this open dialog, this file dialog thing, and it's pretty simple. The main thing you have to remember is just that it's not opening the file, the file dialog box is just returning the location it's allowing you to click a file and select it, and then it just returns the location. Once you have that location, you can open it in any of the ways that we've already learned how in the past, as far as opening images or, or whatever. You could you know, paste out the contents in a big label if you wanted, whatever you want, uh, you can do so. Pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF versions of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com. We'll see you in the next video.